Monster Jam has a 30-year history that dates all the way back to the 90s. Since 1992, Monster Jam has performed all across the United States in almost any and every country you can think of. With that in mind, it's not surprising that some events are usually better than others, some being considered as some of the best Monster Jam events of all time. Whether it be a memorable track, an insane racing or intense freestyle competition, these 10 shows we are going to list today are the best of the best of what Monster Jam has come to offer. So with that in mind, join us today as we discuss the top 10 best Monster Jam shows of all time. The only rules for today is we've decided to limit the amount of world final shows we put on this list as I feel like most world final shows would overshadow the regular events that are on this list. With that being said, here's our list. Number 10, Houston 2008, January. Starting off the list is one of my favorite shows of all time and one I constantly go back and watch. The first of three Houston shows for that year had an all-star field featuring 16 of Monster Jam's greatest drivers and an awesome racing style that was only ever done for this show. Speaking of which, this new racing style proved to be very interesting as it showed that it was very much a driver's course. Craig Christensen and Iron Outlaw would only just edge out the reigning world champion John Seasock in Batman. Freestyle, however, was interesting from start to finish. Some really fantastic runs from the likes of Jimmy Creed in Bounty Hunter, Don Frankish in Maniac, and Tony Farrell in Blue Thunder. Of course, the stars of the show were Dennis Anderson and Tom Mentz, both of which tied for the freestyle win. However, Anderson, being the great sportsman he was, admitted that he felt like Mentz's run was better and deserved the win. So Anderson would give him the trophy and stated, Tom, we're not sharing a trophy, dude. That one goes to your house, and the next one's gonna be mine. With such a memorable and iconic moment as the two best in the industry, showing their mutual respect for each other, while also putting on a spectacular show for the fans in Houston, this show has to make our list. Number 9, Arlington 2011. AT&T Stadium is one of the newer venues on Monster Jam's calendar, and since the first show in 2010, Arlington has gone on to see some fantastic Monster Jam moments over the years, but none are more memorable than Arlington 2011. The lineup was 16 trucks, and while not being the caliber of Houston, it was still filled with star power. And Charles Benz. <laughs> Racing was pretty entertaining and would see Damon Bradshaw and the US Air Force Afterburner win the racing competition. Freestyle was really the competition that set itself apart and Arlington 2011 did not disappoint. From Data Creature's insane crash to Tony Farrell's incredible reverse move and even Damon Bradshaw's incredible back-to-back -back saves. And of course, who could forget, not only the winning freestyle run, but the craziest crash, arguably, of all time. Of course, I'm referring to when Tom Mance decided he didn't need a front axle. This moment became synonymous with the show, and when people mention Arlington, they almost always refer to that moment. For those reasons, that is why Arlington 2011 makes our list. Number 8, San Diego 2022. San Diego has always been a very interesting venue and event. It's one of the few baseball stadiums that has run on Monster Jam's calendar and is probably the smallest. And despite the fact that San Diego only got a wheelie bump as opposed to places like Anaheim and Oakland where they had a backflip ramp separated from the track and an extra jump, San Diego was definitely one of the highlights of this year. As we had seen the previous weekend in Oakland, the new paperclip racing style proved to be interesting for all competitions, giving drivers unique opportunities to try different things. And from the two shows that weekend, both were equally as great as the other. 
Charlie Pork in a Monster Mart would take his second racing win of the season at show one, and Tyler Menninger would take the racing win at show two. Both shows had incredible moments that are truly unforgettable. Show two had Tyler Menninger's insane sidewalls, which netted him another skills win. For show one, it was the almighty Craig Champion and Altura Loco who literally gave zero f and decided to get an amazing slam wheelie and carry it into the pod for what was essentially a front flip. Despite this, Tyler Menninger still walked away as the winner of show one. But in our hearts, we knew Craig was our champion. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry guys. <clears throat> Anyway, freestyle at both shows was action packed, and even though the backflip was a real pace breaker, the drivers made the most of it. No one more so than Tyler Menninger and Barry Musawa. After his insane sidewalls from show two, Menninger laid down one of his greatest runs of the entire season. He would dump the truck right next to the racing lane, a perfect spot for Barry Musawa to leap over his truck in the middle of his freestyle run and jump it he did, shocking the fans and even the drivers. Not only did both of these shows have a sold out crowd, San Diego without a shadow of a doubt deserves to be on this list. Number 7, Tampa 2014. 2014 was a crazy year. It was just before the turning point of where Monster Jam had changed into what it is closer to today. But nonetheless, Tampa 2014 was an amazing show. The lineup was pretty stacked, but interestingly had only 15 trucks compete. Though that was because two trucks were reserved for two different encores, but that's besides the point. The track was awesome. It featured a giant dirt mountain that had a backflip ramp carved out of it, and overall was just a great track. Racing would see Dennis Anderson in Gravedigger defeat Mark McDonald in El Toro Loco for the racing win. Freestyle once again was just on another level. Great saves, huge air, and big backflips. Of course, the highlights came from the top finishes of Freestyle, that being Adam Anderson with his spectacular run, great saves, and when he somehow managed to light the camper on fire briefly, and from Tom Ment, who threw in two unreal saves and a crazy backflip with a twist. Dennis Anderson would not compete for scores in freestyle and instead do an encore with Charlie Porkin who was driving Gravedigger 27. This encore was awesome from start to finish. And as if the Florida fans hadn't seen enough, the mysterious Doomsday would also come out to encore for the fans with a pretty awesome run. When you have a show with a great track, unbelievable saves, two encores and a camper that suddenly combusts, I think that that show deserves to be on the list for one of the greatest Monster Jam shows of all time. Number 6, Indianapolis 2022. Another entrant comes from this year and it's from Stadium to a Red in Indianapolis, Indiana. For this event, we are going to focus on show 2, as that show was absolutely filled to the brim with incredible highlights. In racing, it was a tough battle between Adam Anderson and Bryce Kenny, but in the end, Gravedigger would trump the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. In skills, Blue Thunder's Todd LeDuc would win the skills challenge with a great moonwalk and an amazing bicycle. But again, Freestyle was where it was at. The sheer carnage that was displayed at Lucas Oil Stadium at show 2 was incredible. From the crazy wreck of Saigon Shaker, to the amazing run from Adam Anderson in Gravedigger, Todd LeDuc in Blue Thunder, and even Jamie Garner in Overboard was truly astonishing. Of course, the saves were a plenty, with Bryce Kenny, Cynthia Gauthier, Jamie Garner, and of course, Todd LeDuc and Tom Meds all pulling off ridiculously awesome saves that wowed the crowd. In the end, it would be Tom Meds with his insane somersault save that saw him take home the championship win in freestyle, and Adam Anderson would win the overall event championship. Considering that this show was for valuable points on Stadium Championship Series Red, it was no wonder that every driver went all out in Indiana. 
Number 5 is Rutherford 2022. We saved the best show of this year for last as East Rutherford got to see the conclusion of Stadium Championship Series Yellow. With the points championship already awarded to Ryan Anderson, who had clinched the points series just a few weeks earlier, the drivers still drove to their absolute limits. In racing, Tyler Menninger in Gravedigger would defeat Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid. The skills challenge was much of the same of what we have come to expect until, of course, Ryan Anderson came out and did this. Ryan Anderson pulled out the craziest and longest sidewalls I've ever seen and easily won the skills challenge. But like Indianapolis, freestyle was just off the hook. Every driver laid down a great run and everyone had their moments. The perfect backflip by Craig Champion, the over-rotated backflip by Axe, the amazing air from Corey Rummel, the typical Ragged Edge freestyle from Tyler Menninger, the engine detonation from Ryan Anderson, and the crazy backflip crash from Charlie Porkin. In the end, it would be Camden Murphy with an amazing backflip into a save, and then his save shortly after already pulling out a save on the backflip. What else do I need to say about East Rutherford? Number 4, Atlanta 2010. In 2010, Monster Jam hosted the first and only live show from Atlanta in the Georgia Dome on January 9th of 2010. The show featured an all-star lineup with 14 of the very best trucks and drivers in all of Advanced Auto Parts Monster Jam. The final round race would see the two behemoths of the sport collide as Dennis Anderson would barely come up short against Tom Mentz in Maximum Destruction. Freestyle in Atlanta was action-packed as it usually is in the Georgia Dome. Some spectacular highlights and a lot of crashes as many drivers tried to win. In fact, just over half the field had crashed during their freestyle runs. Despite the best efforts of Paul Cohen, Lindsey Wink, Alex Blackwell, Adam and Dennis Anderson, it would be Tom Mance who would throw down the winning run, earning a score of a 40. This show, while not seeing as much coverage as the others on this list, was still an exciting and unforgettable show. Number 3. Jacksonville 2010 In parallel to Atlanta, Jacksonville was the last broadcaster show of the season before World Finals, and boy oh boy did it not disappoint. A common theme throughout this list is a great field of trucks and drivers, and 16 of the best were ready to duke it out in Jacksonville Municipal Stadium. The track was outstanding, and the action in both competitions was intense. An unpredictable racing bracket saw the underdog, that being Carl Van Horn in Excalibur, win the racing competition along with the great cartwheel save at the end of the race. Of course, when freestyle came, you knew that the drivers were going to lay it down. And move after move, run after run, the fans in Jacksonville got to see an incredible showing from all 16 drivers. Adam Anderson, the runner-up for racing in Taz, would win freestyle with an all-out great run and a spectacular save to boot. And of course, the most memorable moment came from Cam McQueen in Nitro Circus, who pulled off the first ever backflip in competition. This show was amazing start to finish, and that's why it deserves our top 3 spot. Number 2, World Finals 18. As we get to the end of our list, this point in time where we include Monster Jam's premiere event, the Monster Jam World Finals. World Finals 18 in 2017 was an event to remember. It featured 32 of Monster Jam's greatest talents, and considering it didn't feature Tom Mentz or Dennis Anderson, it still managed to be one of the greatest shows to date. Racing was intense, unpredictable, and filled with excitement. In the end, it came down to a photo finish that saw Ryan Anderson gain his first world championship. The racing encore saw every competitor line up down the straightaway, 
and out came Neil Elliott in the Monster Jam 25th anniversary stunt truck to pull off the world first forward momentum backflip, showering the reigning world champion with sparks as Elliott flipped over Ryan's truck. Then, every truck that was in the pit party would park out to cover Sam Boyd Stadium with trucks. It was a truly unforgettable moment. Then, freestyle came and every driver laid down. This competition got to show off some of the craziest freestyles and moments of all time. The air from Mr. Excitement, the saves from Barry Musawa, Randy Brown and Morgan Kane, the corkscrew from Rosalie Raymer, Brianna Mahan and Cam McQueen, and of course, the two never before seen moves from Neil Elliott and Leo Donald. Elliott would successfully pull off the world's first reverse backflip, and O'Donnell would pull off the groundbreaking front flip. This front flip gained mainstream popularity when it was covered by Stephen Colbert on The Colbert Show, and it instantly became a classic moment in all of Monster Jam. And with the competition that featured never before seen moves, two deserving champs and one hell of a world finals, this had to be our number two pick. Number one, World Finals 9. If you ever wondered how you could have topped World Finals 18, look no further than World Finals 9. World Finals 9 from top to bottom was just unbelievably fantastic. A great field of trucks, the greatest World Finals track to date, and one of the most competitive and exciting freestyle competitions in all of Monster Jam. Racing was a tough battle, and it looked like Tom Mentz would run away with the championship. In an interesting turn of events, Mentz would be unable to make the call for the final round race, letting Jimmy Creedon advance to get a second chance. He would face the reigning racing champion, John C. Sock and Batman for the World Racing Championship. C. Sock would ultimately defend his world championship and earn back-to-back -back world championships. For freestyle, however, it was off the hook. From the first run out, the show was already exciting. The triple bus stack made for exciting moments as driver after driver trying to clear the jump, while others found other ways to be creative, get huge air, make great saves, and entertain the fans in the hopes of becoming a world freestyle champion. It would be Adam Anderson who would not only completely clear the triple, but become the youngest world champion to date by winning his first world championship. Seriously, this event was just pure awesome and will forever go down in the history books as the best Monster Jam show of all time. And well, that's all we have for today. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.